What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Pro Foods Gaming, where we inspire gamers to lift and lifters to game. Today, I'm about to tell you how I beat GERD, how you can beat GERD, slash acid reflux. Um, it's something I've been dealing with for the past like six weeks, and I was gonna make a video about it earlier, but now like I'm actually in a spot where like I'm pretty much like done with it. Like uh, I still get like I got like mild heartburn because I ate something spicy by accident like a couple days ago. But I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. Show you exactly what I eat. Uh, and I'm gonna explain to you how you can beat this thing. Now the first thing that I do every morning is uh, drink some apple cider vinegar. This is a known home remedy to uh, help with your acid reflux. So I take like a tablespoon, I've measured it before in the shot glass, so I always measure it in the shot glass. Take a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and about four to six ounces of water, dilute it, and I drink this every morning, uh, like 10 to 15 minutes before my meal, and I'll see you at the meal in a like 10 to 15 minutes. So, the first meal of my day is usually a shake. Um, I could do something solid, but this is like what I do during my work week because I don't have as much time to make food in the morning and also eat. Because when you have GERD, we know it takes us like 35 minutes to eat like any like decent sized amount of food or like 40 minutes because you have to chew really slowly. So, this is going to be my first meal. I'll show you what I put in it. So, this is a spinach and arugula mix. A little more spinach. Almond milk. Two tablespoons of peanut butter. Yeah, now, normally, I've been putting in only one banana, but since I've been getting better, I can actually eat more, so now I put in two bananas. One scoop of protein powder. I use vegan protein powder because uh, whey protein kind of messes with me. Like, this diet is going to be lactose-free, gluten-free, and it's gonna be vegetarian it might be vegan today. The only like a uh, non-vegan thing I eat is eggs. I'm not sure if I'll have eggs today or not. We'll see. It's a little. I'm gonna try it thicker than normal because usually I like it liquidy, just so that I can like drink it easier. Um, but uh, with all of my meals, I used to take this digestive enzyme. Now I don't really need to take it since I've gotten better. But um. I would take like two to three like digestive enzymes a day, like just with my bigger meals. Uh, That's something that I would definitely recommend. It helped me because the reason you can't digest stuff is because there's usually a block up, like our blockage uh, in your liver that's preventing digestive enzymes from getting to where they need to be to help you like break down your food. So these help while you can't do that. But once you've cleaned up your diet and uh, like that like blockage kind of starts clearing up, your digestive enzymes will do the work on their own and you won't really need it anymore. But for now, definitely recommend these. All right, so we're walking right now, enjoying the beautiful weather that we're having. I think that it is a good idea to be active, uh, walking, just going out and walking. Don't be too strenuous on yourself, but uh, just going out and walking helps with digestion. And uh, I'm about to do something I haven't done in a really long time. I haven't had a cup of coffee in like seven weeks or something like that. Like it's been a while and I love coffee. So we're about to go, we're walking to this coffee shop. I don't recommend you do this if you're, uh, if you have acid refluxes and can upset your stomach and trigger it. You can try it. Like everybody's different. Everybody has different trigger foods. It is very important to know what yours are. But yeah, like I'm about to try this. Hopefully I'm fine with it. I want this so bad. I've wanted this in my life, so I'm excited. This is like an informational video. I will pre be providing you all the greatest information, how to get over acid reflux, but also it's a vlog at the same time. So I'm also gonna be showing you this. I just got uh, my i7 processor and my graphics card. They just came in. So I'm upgrading my PC also. There it That's is. Okay. So I'm gonna be drinking this coffee and then after we do this, uh, we're gonna do a leg workout. Um, I just started working out again. 
I definitely stopped working out for like six weeks or something like that because uh, my core just couldn't handle anything really. Like I would eventually start, like the acid would come up. But I worked out tr three times so far. All of them been good. Nothing like really happened. I just have been taking it easy, not doing anything too crazy. I haven't tried bench press yet because you're laying down when you bench press it, with weight on top of you. So I don't know like when I'll be able to do that. Uh, do you want to show like a picture, like a before and after picture, like before you got? Um, oh, I could, yeah. Answer. Like, yeah, like before when you were I got able to work out flux. and eat. Yeah, and then after. There it is. <laughs> I lost like 27 pounds. At least, I thought yeah. you lost 30. No, I lost, oh, I lost 28. I almost lost 30. Mm. Yeah, so I lost 28 pounds in six, like six and a half weeks, which is crazy. Like that's, yeah. I wasn't even that fat. Like, uh, yeah. as you can see in the picture, like I wasn't <laughs> yeah. like that fat, but uh, I just lost muscle also because I couldn't work out or anything like that. Bad times, but just letting you know, you might be in bad times right now. You can definitely get better. Like uh, naturally, no, don't take PPIs or proton pump inhibitors like Nexium or uh, Prilosec. They tried prescribing Prilosec. I took four of them. Then I tried to eat chicken, messed my stomach up. Like, and then I was just like, dude, I can't like digest anything. It's cause it just takes away all of your stomach acid. So you can't digest anything. Like uh, what you actually want is more acid it's actually caused by too little stomach acid and they take it away so that the acid can't come up because there's none left. So are you telling people to buy acid? Yes. Just and, buy and then consume it? Yes. I mean, you can. Hydrochloric acid is an option. Oh, never so mind, never can, mind. We're not talking about the same thing. Yeah, we're not talking about the same thing. <laughs> that is something that I tried. It, uh, so it you have tried acid? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't suggest taking that long term though, because unlike digestive enzymes, like you're always producing enough digestive enzymes, it just can't get to the food to break it down because of the blockage. The hydrochloric acid might cause your body to just stop producing it, like or like just oh we got enough. Become like, dependent on it. Yeah, it might become dependent on it. So you can try it like for a week or something like that to see how you feel, but I wouldn't suggest taking it long term. I didn't. So yeah, this doctor told me when they gave me the Prilosec, they were like. Oh yeah, a lot of people take this long term. Like it's the side effects aren't very bad or anything like that. There's some people who've been on Prolosec for like 20 years. I'm not don't I'm not trying to be like that. I'm not trying to depend on this medicine that doesn't make me any better. So yeah, that's why this video is here. It's helping you show like I'm literally in the process still. I'm not fully recovered, but uh, I am definitely way better than I was before. Like I can eat a lot more. I ate 20 over 2300 calories yesterday like uh, with no side effects or anything before I eat like an apple, be about to throw up. So yeah, like uh, you do not need that. You can cure it naturally. And that's what I'm here to show you. Woo! But first, I'm about to put this in my computer and then uh, we're gonna go to the gym and I'll show you the next meal. So like the, I've been eating vegetarian, basically like almost vegan, like I eat eggs like three times a week or something like that. Uh, and the way I'm eating is like basically 70 something percent carbs like 15% protein and then 12%, 15% fat. I don't know like what the exact thing is. It's always slightly different. So like, it's not gonna, I don't know what I said. It wasn't hundred <laughs> um, percent. Yeah. It was more, I think. Yeah, like, so the one downside to this way that I'm eating is that uh, I digest stuff very quickly and that's what you want when you're like on acid reflux. You want your digestion to get better. So it's all, you want to keep things moving all the time. But because of that, every like two hours or two and a half hours, I am hungry. So now what I've been doing is when I work out, I take some raisins with me. These are golden raisins that I got. So like halfway through my workout, I eat some golden raisins, like chill for a second, and then continue my workout so I have enough energy to keep going. Cause you you will crash like if you're eating like this. Uh, I'm not really crash, but like you'll get like, you'll feel drained and uh, you'll need to get some like fruit or something like that in you. So that is what I will be doing. Just letting you know, pro tip. What up guys? This is uh, my lunch meal. So it's probably gonna be like the biggest meal that I have today. Um, I got some red lentils that I just cooked up. Got some brown rice, broccoli, a mixture of carrots, mushrooms, squash, zucchini. And I'm about to put a little bit of just Himalayan salt on top of the lentils, just for a little 
I can't do that, like really any seasonings, like black pepper kind of messes me up. Uh, so I'm kind of sensitive, so I haven't found a seasoning that I can really put, but lentils are really good if you can find a good seasoning, because they kind of taste like whatever you put on top of them. Yeah, I'm about to enjoy this. I'll see you at the next meal. What's up guys, this is the next meal. Uh, right here I got a little over half a cup of oatmeal, uh, a banana, and two spoonfuls of peanut butter. That's how I like to dress my oatmeal. And I also have a pear in the back right here. Uh, it's very ripe, very juicy, I uh, can't wait. This is the next meal I will be having, and I will see you at the next one. So something I also do to help with digestion is uh, I'll drink ginger tea. So I'm using this right now. Uh, this is like in a tea bag. I boiled some hot water with this thing. And then uh, threw that in there. And I'm gonna drink this. Now you can also use fresh ginger, which might be better. Um, I usually have ginger root. I didn't realize that I was out. But um, what I'll do is I'll just chop up some ginger root, put eight ounces of water in this teapot thing, and I'll put the ginger root in there. And I'll boil it in there for 10 minutes or so, so, or like 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'll just pour that in and drink that. And that's pretty good. So yeah, I'm about to drink this, and then I'll have the last meal of the day. So I just got done with my ginger tea. Uh, the My last meal is actually cooking right now. I'm gonna show that to you in a second. But uh, as you can see, as the day is going, you see my meals. So basically you just have to change your lifestyle, like the way that you live, because the reason that you got acid reflux is probably your fault. I know it's definitely my fault uh, why I got it. Literally what I was doing was every day I would go to Quick Trip, like a gas station, and I would get two spicy chicken taquitos for breakfast. I wouldn't make my own breakfast and I'd scarf that down then I would, for lunch, I, I work right next to a Panda Express and a McDonald's. So I would either go to McDonald's and order literally four McDoubles every day and eat that, or I would go to Panda Express and get white rice, two orders of grilled teriyaki chicken, and one order of black pepper chicken. And I'd eat all of that really fast. Like every, the way I ate was terrible. I wouldn't chew my food. I would just like basically inhale it. So uh, after doing that for like five months, on top of drinking like on the weekends a lot, uh, drinking a lot of caffeine, eventually, you know, my body was just like, enough is enough, I've had it. And let me know that by uh, giving me acid reflux. So now I don't do that, <laughs> as you can see. And uh, it actually made me want to go vegetarian. So that's why like, because uh, at first it was, I couldn't really digest meat. But uh, going vegetarian was something I always kind of wanted to try. And now I know that I definitely can. Definitely do that. Chew your food 20 to 30 times, like before you swallow. Uh, also try eating without, like in a secluded area. Don't talk to anybody while you're eating because then uh, when you're chewing your food and talking, you tend to swallow air, which causes you to burp. And uh, burping can cause you to like cough up acid reflux. Also on top of that, you're trying to get rid of like that gas. I know that uh, I have, I had it a lot, not as much anymore. Digestive enzymes really help with that because the reason you're burping and it's coming back up is because you can't like break it down. And also definitely cut out alcohol, try and cut out caffeine, all the fatty foods, obviously. Uh, just try and get on like a blander diet, uh, something that is like better for you. All the foods that you're eating should be easy to digest. Also, if you do mess up, you can get alkaline water. Uh, with a nine pH or higher, what it does is like the, whenever stomach acid comes up in your throat, it, there's also an enzyme called pepsin that comes up with it that starts eating away at your throat. And that's what really makes it hurt. Like there was times where I couldn't really talk or anything. It like hurt to talk. Uh, so this kind of like lessens the blow, like it, because it deactivates the pepsin enzyme. So it stops eating away at your throat. So it'll still hurt a little bit, but not anywhere near as bad. Uh, if you like eat a trigger food that you didn't know about. So yeah, that's it. Um, hope that you learned something in this video. Uh, I'll show you my last meal in a second. It's about to be ready. And then uh, we'll go from there. So yeah, guys, there it is. This is the final meal of the day. 
Uh, this is the equivalent of one sweet potato. Uh, we got some of the red lentils that I had from earlier and the rest of the broccoli. I'm also going to have an apple with this. Uh, after I finish this, I'm gonna have an apple. And basically, these sweet potatoes, um, I coated the pan in a very small amount of olive oil. And then I just put like some of the Himalayan salt, uh, this pink salt on top of it. And that was it. So then I just cooked the potatoes for, I think like 35 minutes. And uh, they come out pretty good, like well. Uh, I really like them. So as you can see, I actually get a good amount of volume now, now that like I'm getting over my, my GERD. But I'm definitely going to continue eating like this. Uh, getting this really opened my eyes, like getting acid reflux really opened my eyes. Uh, now I realize I need to eat way better than I have been. So I'm going to continue to do this even after like I'm fully like cured of this. Probably going to continue to just eat like this and I'm probably going to be vegan slash vegetarian for the rest of my life. Um, like today it was all vegan actually. Uh, no lactose, no gluten either. So yeah, like I'm just going to try and eat whole foods from now on. Uh, hopefully, like this is, hopefully this helped you out. Definitely try and just eat whole foods. Uh, it'll definitely help your acid reflux if you have it. But until the next video, keep lifting, keep gaming, and I'll see you in the next video.